Good morning. So we are starting off today just with a little bit of coffee and breakfast because, well, who doesn't need that? But today we're planning on having an even more relaxing day by actually going to a hammam spa. So that's going to be lovely. Very much looking forward to that. Otherwise, no major plans. We might do a little bit of shopping in the souks, but that's pretty much it for today, really. Yeah, let's yeah. see what the day brings. <laughs> Starting our day off right, as usual, with the ever delicious breakfast that just we had. And if that wasn't enough, the second course has officially arrived. So after a very chilled morning of breakfast and otherwise just watching YouTube videos, it's time for us to go to the hammam. Some from the hammam has just come to pick us up, so now we're on our way. experience first of all we couldn't take pictures or video of the inside partially because we were just enjoying but also would have been disrespectful to the other guests and so the first thing you do is you walk in and they offer you some mint tea and some cookies and I think it was probably the owner who went over just like what everything is and then you can make a selection on what type of treatment you want once you do that, they escort you into this changing room where they give you disposable underwear, slippers, and a robe, and they give you a locker for you to put your stuff in. So actually, there's no need for you to bring anything at all with you. It's all provided. After that, they take you to where the hammam is. And I believe the hammam is kind of like a sauna, almost. Yeah, like a sauna with exfoliation treatment and basically skincare routine, really. Yeah, so the room is hot like a sauna, but not quite as intense. And you have these benches with like vinyl cushions, which are comfortable, mm -hmm. and you lie down. And you're all you're ushered in so quickly. Like the women just ask you to remove your robes. And when they say remove your robes, all you have on is the disposable underwear. Like women, nothing else on. <laughs> Men, fit yourself into disposable underwear. Indeed. But you're not uncomfortable at all. They just like start splashing you with water. And I think they cleaned us next. And sometimes they ask you to turn over. Then they kind of let you sit. They come back, they wash the soap off you. Then I think they used the scrub on us next, which was vigorous. Mm -hmm. After yeah. that, they wash you again, and then they put on some kind of other, like, black kind of... Well, I think what they called black soap, which I think is like a charcoal-based kind of thing. So essentially, once they've done the scrub to basically take several layers of skin off you, like, it's it's not to the point where it's overtly painful, but it's not 100% comfortable, let's put it that way. But once they go for the black like, soap, then it basically kind of feels like you're being lathered up a little bit. And then they let that kind of seep into your skin for a little bit. And then they wash that off. And at that point, then whatever other part of the treatment that you've paid for, that's when you then move on to the next bit. So then we got taken to our massage because that's what we asked for. And it's, again, a full body massage. They used argan oil. The massage therapists were incredible it was so relaxing it's a dark room the mm. bed is comfortable they play relaxing music and again they massage every 
apart every inch of your body. Except the, how can we say this, reproductive organs, your kind of giblets, so to speak. That's the only thing they don't touch, ladies. Your chest gets done. Yep. Your neck, the front of your neck, the back of your neck, your face gets a massage, your scalp, everything. Yes. But it was so relaxing and so worthwhile. And actually, the value for money compared to, like, at least North American and European society is really good. Like, we paid combined 1,210 dirham, and that was the 40-minute hammam and an hour-long massage. So that, as a combined treatment converted into Canadian, is probably about $150 for two people. For two people for an hour and 40 minutes. But in reality, we were there for actually more like two hours, two yeah. and a half hours. Exactly. Because, oh, and they also send someone to pick you up. Yeah. They take you back to your Riyadh. And I think the other thing we should mention is that we are aware this isn't a traditional hammam. Yeah, so with the traditional hammam, then usually it would be gender separated, it would be a lot more rudimentary in terms of the facilities. Because essentially with that, the whole idea is that it's meant to be kind of a community thing. And so, yeah, you may get the same kind of scrubs and the same kind of treatments and stuff like that, but the emphasis really is on you doing it yourself. Or alternatively, and this was actually something we found out during our walking tour the other day, um, essentially when it comes to sort of trying to uh, cover all of the areas of your body, like trying to Get put stuff back. on, scrub stuff off, then obviously you can't do your back. So therefore, you would need to ask somebody else who is also there to be able to do your back for you, and in return, you do that. So in that, I believe, is the origin of the phrase, if you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. So that's the more kind of traditional model. It's basically they give you all of the treatment options and everything like that. But the emphasis really is then you taking care of that more or less yourself. Whereas we got therapists yeah, to do the treatment yeah, for us. Exactly. And it was very much spot like in that respect. Yeah, which definitely caters a lot more to tourists. So as a result, we were paying what would probably be considered more of a tourist price, but certainly the overall experience was very enjoyable from our perspective. And yeah, I mean, as far as we're concerned, then we would recommend it to pretty much anybody, um, irrespective of whether you would go for the more sort of basic traditional option or whether you go for more of a spotlight treatment like what we got. So we'll link the hammam that we went to down below. And if you're in Marrakesh, highly recommend doing that. Indeed. So we have officially found the second cheapest sandwiches that we found in Morocco so far, costing all of 20 dirham each. So here we have Rachel's choice, which is with ground meat, and my choice, which is with chicken. Let's see how they go. So after a brief taste test, then we can confirm that these sandwiches are absolutely delicious, absolutely worth every dirham. Especially you can see the fact that you also get complimentary hot sauce on top of that. After a relaxing afternoon at the Riyadh, we're now headed out to explore the sights and sounds of Marrakesh in the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, Jamal Fana Square in the evening. Jamal Fana. We went also through the souks and picked up a couple of things for some very cheap prices, which is great. We got a pillow cover for 70 dirham and a keychain for one of Nick's colleagues for 10 dirham. Exactly. I don't know actually how well we did, but whatever, it seems pretty cheap to me. Yeah, seems like a pretty decent haul. 10 bucks for two things. It's not bad at all. We were so hungry that we uh, completely forgot to mention the food. So we come back to the same place that we ended up going to last night. Uh, but this time we're trying a lot, something a little bit different. So I come for a chicken pastilla, 
and unfortunately Rachel's not feeling too great um, in the stomach front so she's just opted for a pizza. So it's just me for this evening. Uh, Rachel unfortunately is not feeling too great. She's just resting up. But in the meantime, before we did actually come back to the hotel, we did actually eventually grab some snacks and a couple of sandwiches for the road for tomorrow because the intention is that we're going to be getting a train back from here to Casablanca for one more stay before we then uh, get our flight home. So with that then, we've got all of that sorted out, which is great. So we're just going to turn in for the night now. Uh, but in the meantime, take care and keep smiling. Thank you.